Do you sometimes get tired of the guessing games and wonder what actually makes a woman want to sleep with you? Here is the cold, hard truth. Women are on the lookout for every possible reason to swipe left on you, especially if you come off as desperate or too eager for some booty. Women decide fast if you are worth their time or just another number in their phone going nowhere. Watch this video till the end if you want to be that guy who is the one she can't resist. By the end of this video, you are going to master the top attraction triggers that flip her interest from maybe to hell yes. Number 11. Keep the whisper game strong. Listen up. The secret weapon you are ignoring is a woman's ear. Yes, that is right. That spot is gold for firing up intimacy. Instead of making a beeline for a kiss, lean in close, real close, and hit her with a whisper. The goal here isn't to spill your guts, but to send a shiver down her spine with your words, whispered so softly that it is the sensation that speaks louder than the words themselves. Imagine you are both at a crowded party. The music is blasting, but in that moment, it is just you two. You lean in, your lips barely grazing her ear, and with a voice so low it is almost a caress. You drop a joke that is just for her. Or maybe you share a secret that makes her feel like she is the only one in the room. That is the kind of intimacy that takes away the floor beneath her foot and gives her butterflies. Number 10. Be straight up, not creepy. When you are hitting up a girl, be straight up about what you're after. No need for games or beating around the bush. But keep it classy, no crude stuff. Tell her what is on your mind, what you dig about her, and what you are hoping for. All respectful-like. But don't be that guy who is all about, Hey, I am here for a hookup. That is not cool. Women can smell desperation a mile away. And it is a major turn-off. They know the game. The moment you step up, they have already got you figured out. So, cut the act. You don't need to spell it out for them. But also, don't swing to the other extreme by playing the too-shy guy who is just looking to be friends. That is not going to get you anywhere either. Don't just go for her number or her Snapchat and leave things hanging. If she is giving you the green light, don't waste time. And if she is not into it, move on. Make your intentions clear, but don't be that creepy dude or the friend-zoned guy. Number 9. Respect her boundaries. Now, respecting a woman's wishes is where it is at. If you are getting close and she is not feeling it, you stop. No questions asked. It is all about having that talk early on and setting those boundaries. This shows you respect her and builds trust. If she says it is not time, then it is not time. Don't push it. Trying to argue or compare her to others is just going to backfire. Understanding and patience are your best friends here. Consent is a big deal and it has got to be on her terms. When she is ready, she will let you know. Until then, keep it respectful and chill. Number 8. Lead with respect. Respect and admiration aren't just old-school charms, they are essentials. Treating a woman right means seeing her as a complete person, not just a body. It is about digging into her thoughts, her laughs, her everything. Picture this. You are at a dinner, and instead of letting your eyes wander, you lock in on hers and show her that what she says actually matters to you. You listen, really listen to her stories, her jokes, her day at work. It is about making her feel seen, heard, and appreciated. And when she talks about her passions and her dreams, you are not just nodding along, you are asking questions and diving deep. When you show her the respect she deserves, you are laying down the foundation of something solid. That is where the real magic happens where both of you can dive into your desires with all the excitement and none of the awkwardness. Number 7. Massage your way to intimacy. If you want to really connect with her, then start with a massage. It is a smooth move, especially if she is tense or nervous. Begin with something easy, like her hands. Watch how she reacts. If she is comfortable, move to her neck or back. Always use something gentle like a nice massage oil, and keep the vibe relaxed with some candles and soft tunes. Now, you don't have to be all physical here, but create an intimate moment and build that trust and connection. 
A sensual massage says you are there to make her feel good, no strings attached, and that my brother makes turns her on. Number six, tease to please. Kicking things up a notch with some playful teasing is a surefire way to get her heart racing. You lean in, all cool and confident, and toss her a line that has got a bit of edge. Something like, you sure you can handle what I have got? It is all playful and lights a spark. The real trick is how you say it. Lock eyes with her, let your voice drop to a whisper, and maybe let your fingers brush against her arm as you speak. This kind of interaction is electric, stirs up excitement, and makes her eager for what you have actually got for her. Mix confidence with a bit of charm to show her you are both, a challenge and a catch. Number five, the magic of slow touches. Now, let's talk about the power of touch. Forget rushing in and try those slow, deliberate moves that send shivers down her spine. Start with something simple, like running your fingers lightly over her hand or along her arm. As things heat up, bring in soft kisses along her collarbone or just behind her ear, places that don't usually get much attention. This isn't just touching. It is speaking a whole language without saying a word that tells her she is desired and she is wanted. Number four, mix comfort and seduction right. Getting it right with a new girl means balancing comfort and seduction. Don't be all over her from the get-go. That is too much, too fast. And don't just sit there like a friend. That is too little, too late. You have got to find that sweet spot. Girls dig the journey and the build-up. They are into stories, the kind that make their hearts race and their minds wander. So, when you are with her, ease into the vibe. Use your eyes, your voice, and those casual touches that say you are interested without screaming it. Start off chill, like playing a game that gets her laughing and touching back. It is about making her want more without pushing too hard. Number three, be busy, be wanted. Here is the thing. If you are always available, you are just another guy. But if your time is rare, you are a prize. Being busy isn't about playing games. It is about having a life. Tell her, hey, I have got a tight schedule, but I want to see you. This makes your time together special and valuable. Now, you don't have to ignore her, but make the moments you do have with her count. When she realizes you are not just sitting around waiting, she will be more into you. She will make time and cancel other plans just to be with you. That is how you know you have got her attention. Number two, public teasing done right. Teasing her in public doesn't mean a public display of affection. It is about subtlety and respect. Imagine you are at a party, talking and laughing. Under the radar, your hand finds its way to her thigh, just barely there, then gone. It is a whisper of what is to come, not a shout. And this move, my man, is bold without being overbearing. It tells her you are into her and you have the confidence to show it, just a bit. This kind of teasing builds anticipation and makes her think about you, about later. But remember, it is all about the tease, about making her want more without making her uncomfortable. Number one, let the wild out. Show her the fire you have got inside. Catch her off guard with a kiss that is all about passion, one that says you are all in without you having to spell it out. While you are at it, let your hands wander through her hair. This just cranks up the heat of the moment. All of this will make her feel like she is the only one you have got your eyes on. Not just with sweet talk, but with every move you make. After a night filled with romance, picking her up and heading to the bedroom isn't just fun. It is a power move. It tells her you can't get enough, that your attraction is primal and real. Conclusion. Remember, it is all about playing it cool, respecting her space, and showing you are genuinely into her. No rushing, no desperate vibes. Keep it real, build that trust and connection. If you mess up thinking you can push boundaries without respect, she is gonna back off fast. So, take these tips, use them wisely, and watch how they change the game for you. If you have made it this far, comment below with the word 100% to confirm that you have received the knowledge from this video. For more interesting topics, Make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.